So, figured I'd do a quick update. Um, about a year ago, um, I moved to a new house and I had to move the machine out of the old garage. I moved it into this uh, kind of cellar uh, workshop kind of thing here underneath my garden. And um, you, as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of space. Of course, I didn't have a whole lot of space before, um, but it fits. And I've been cutting quite a few um, quite a few jobs lately, so I figured I'd do a quick video on things that I've changed and things that I've updated. Uh, on the machine itself, um, I kind of changed the direction. I put it in, you know, kind of a different spot, and I put also uh, the the cable chain on the different on a different side. Um, I did that so that if I ever have a problem, uh, obviously I don't have to take the water table out and, you know, it's, it's, it's easier to get to. Um, so I put the cable chain on this side. I uh, tried to clean up some of the wiring a little bit as best I could. Um, and let's see, as far as the air goes, uh, I put a lot more shutoff valves on the air system. So everything runs from this compressor here uh, to the air cleaner. Or air dryer. Then it goes up here uh, to a kind of a main shutoff valve uh, to a T, and then that T runs then into the um, uh, plasma machine, plasma cutting machine. Um, that also goes through a water filter um, with a gauge on there, so I can see that it's hitting six bar. Um, then I have the THC here uh, located right next to the plasma machine. Uh, then I can adjust it pretty easily. Um, so then. Continuing now with the air system, uh, it comes off this T uh, to another T, and then I have an oiler down here uh, that I can then run that to the uh, engraver, or um, if I'm running any kind of uh, air tools, I run it out here to this thing and uh, can hook it up pretty easily. Um, if I want dry air without an oiler, I also have a shutoff valve here um, for that. Um, also. As I've mentioned in previous videos, my water uh, water table is, is on kind of a, an air system where I, I pump air into the tank here and that lifts the water up or drains it back down. And then I have it regulated uh, right here. Uh, also a shutoff valve for all, for everything. So in case uh, I need to you know switch something out, um, I don't lose a lot of air pressure. Or it's a lot easier to work with it that way. All my storage is down underneath here. Um, you know, water tables here. Um, everything's pretty much the same as it was, um, with some minor tweaks. And uh, so far, machine's been cutting really well, and uh, no complaints. Also, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in other videos, because I've uh, made the machine out of this aluminum profile. Um, if you're running high torque motors, you can get a little bit of a vibration. Uh, in order to combat that, um, I've put in uh, bolts into the ground, and then I, I crank it down with these cables, and that really takes a lot of the, the vibration out of it. it. makes the machine really stable, and uh, it's helped out a lot. So I do it in the front here as well as the back. Uh, as you can see, the cables then run down there. Everything's grounded to the star point. As you can see, the table here is grounded. Um, water table's grounded, the machine, um, the water table frame itself, uh, and then everything's running back into uh, a central point. So yeah, obviously the e-stops on this side, uh, if I need to stop it immediately. I have e-stops on everything, on the bottom axis, top axis, front and back. I also have it on the actual torch itself, um, just to keep everything safe. Also mechanical stops are definitely recommended. Let's just in case something were ever happen and uh, the axis goes flying off the side, you want a mechanical stop in place to keep that from uh, going. Um, so yeah, all in all, uh, works really well. Been doing a few jobs, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Thanks.